Uh, that was my best Lancastrian Spanish. Did you Hola. notice? Yes, it's very good, wasn't it? I only practiced a bit. Now, if you were watching last night, uh, you will have seen us head back to the 1980s, a time of power hairdos, you've still got yours, go-karts and the reality TV series Love at Road. Well, tonight, 20 years on, we find out what happened to some of the stars of the show. BBC Radio Manchester breakfast presenter Alan Bezik, who worked on the show, has been back to meet them. <laughs> This hardware okay? shop was one of the great How centres of Lovett Road because whatever you wanted, Dave had it. Well, I'm a Dolly Blue then for me shirt. You've got one? Yeah. I've gone the world trying to get Dolly Blues. Dave had one of everything, but he had everything. The, the, the range of stock he carried was enormous. My mum started this in 45. My, my granddad were a boot of clog repair before that. Here? Yeah. Give me two more in case this goes wrong. Right. <laughs> Haven't you felt like the same? Well, hang on a minute. 43 years in the same place, selling the, basically the same gear. Isn't it time to pack it all in? Not really. It's a job, isn't it? It's been 20 years, and in that time, of course, the world has changed. Love at Road changed too. Some of the people who were here then are still here, but not many. This, for example, was Dave's hardware shop. Clearly, it's not anymore, and Dave has gone. Mind you, he's not gone so far. You know, the last week I were open, I didn't have a customer until Friday lunch. What did she buy? She wanted a key cut. A key cut? Yeah, I cut her a key and that were it. So the last trade you did was one key cut? We had that, that right week. Can't live off that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. I can't <laughs> So this was the empire of Adrian and Lynn. Upstairs, fancy dress. Downstairs, fancy beer. Pendlewich, Wadworth 6X and Pedigree. There was a shop on every corner. Everybody knew each other. I don't remember any fallings out ever. Uh, it was just a real community, which I don't think you get really much now anywhere. Just hold his hand in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the doctor's toy, you see. <laughs> After I'd had Jack, people would stop me and say, we saw you on the TV, is this the little Jack? And I think Jack was more famous than me from it, really. Jack's 20 now. Jack's at Lee Juni studying English, which he loves. And he's in a rock and roll band called The Uncomfortables, which are very popular in Preston. They're brilliant. If we were to try and make Love at Road again, the sequel, if you will, I suspect it'd be a lot harder. It'd certainly be a lot different. People would come from miles around with the sole objective of launching their television career. <laughs> There'd be tap dancers behind me right now. Not invited, they'd just turn up and tap. We weren't interested. We never got that. People didn't know. Reality television was new. And all it was interested in was, well, frankly, reality. It was nothing as it is today. Nobody thought they were the star at all. I mean, we were all quite scared at the beginning really but then we got to trust the team certainly nothing like it is today i mean we were all hiding from the cameras really at the beginning but then we did get used to them go on hold it there's too much going on now i think people see the cult of celebrity as being a passport to making money and in those days it wasn't people were willing to cooperate with us to show us how they lived their lives that's it that's a deal you got it. <laughs> Alan Bezik, BBC Northwest Tonight, Love at Road, Preston. Oh, Do you know, that lady in the dog could go far on Britain's Got Talent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was talking about Love at Road on my radio show, and oh, yeah. that pub that they showed, the guys are going for a pint, and the ladies apparently will go in with their teapots and fill it with gin. They had gin on no. tap. Yeah, just take the teapot on. That's it. There'll be more. Happy days. Yeah. <laughs> what we can remember. There'll be more on. <laughs> you put maybe, I'm too young. Mm. Uh,